This is the second year that the Hyde Group have sponsored a Maker Enterprising Challenge and this year we're also working in partnership with the Northwest Aerospace Alliance. We've got 13 different schools represented here today from across Greater Manchester. They're year nine pupils and they've all been tasked with creating a new PEPS vehicle or aircraft which is to protect people, the environment or property. Um, their ideas so far have been really great, we're really pleased with them and so we're very much looking forward to hearing their pitches this afternoon. I, I just think today is a magnificent approach to what is usually a difficult area, manufacturing, trying to get young children, young kids enthused in manufacturing, it is usually almost impossible, it's a conundrum. And I think if we can just transfer even just 10, 15 percent of the energy, enthusiasm, imagination that we can see in this room today into a career in manufacturing in high skilled jobs, then I just think the future economy for Chainside, the future economy of the UK is in good hands because some of the things I've seen today have been magnificent and I just hope that they can actually transfer those into a real, a real blue sky thinking taking place here today. A great day. Our company names Emergency Air and Water and we've made a helicopter H2O which is a multi-purpose vehicle that goes on all terrains. It can save people on land, air and water and it's, it's um, a vehicle which is used for the military to help them save them, injured people. I've learnt about manufacturing and that it's not just boring factory jobs. I can there is many jobs in there such as design and finance and sales and marketing and it's not what I thought it would be. Northwest Aerospace Alliance really recognise how important young people are to the future of our industry. So we've just launched a new campaign called Take Off in Aerospace. The Manufacturing Institute is a key partner within this campaign. We've been working with the Manufacturing Institute to make it campaign for several years now. These enterprising challenges are now forming a really key part of the work that we're trying to do. This is the first of six aerospace themes events that we'll be running this year. And this is, uh, I'm really happy to be here for this first event. I'm well, really privileged for the high group to be involved uh, in today's event. We did it last year. Uh, we had fewer schools last year. It's been a really good turnout this year. Uh, shows the popularity of the event. We as a local employer uh, find that gaining uh, capable young people or bringing capable young people into our industry has traditionally been very difficult because of the nature of what we do and the reputation that it has. Manufacturing in the UK has suffered from a bad publicity, uh, bad public relations over the years. It's deemed to be dirty um, and not particularly a, a nice environment for people to want to work in. Good seeing all these young people in here who are, to all intents and purposes, a blank sheet of paper at this stage. 13-year-old um, kids who have no real comprehension of what they really want to do at this stage in life. But maybe through today's activity we might be able to give them a little bit of food for thought of what they want to, might want to do in the next four or five years in terms of the choices that they make, uh, in terms of the A-levels that they may or may not want to take, and what their future career may be up to undergraduate, postgraduate level because engineering can offer them all sorts of opportunities at whatever level they choose to leave education.